So we're looking at the Linux Prodigy 2.0 and we're going to adjust the economizer settings. One thing to note is this wire here is the signal wire for the outside air damper, 262A. You can find that on the diagram right here, 262. VOT is voltage out, so it's a white wire, 262A. So you want to make sure that that's intact. It should be. This unit was controlled by a building automation system, so they they cut that wire and they tied in there so that they took over control of the outside air damper. So we've reinstated that, and we're going to adjust the economizer settings. So in the main menu you have these categories and you want to go to settings and we're going to check RTU options. So main menu, we're going to go down to settings, RTU options, damper. So the economizer is using temperature, so sensible temperature, and that's what we want. If this said enthalpy or something else, global, we would need to change that. And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. So, temperature set point, that's great. We're gonna move on. Outside air temperature set point should be 60 degrees, um, 55 degrees if you're in a very humid area. And then, the supplier temperature should always be 55 degrees. And you can adjust it here and then press save. So this one's done, and let's go back and I'll show you how to change from enthalpy control to temperature control. So we're going to go down to general, underneath settings we're going to go to general, hit select, and you can scroll down to configuration ID number one, and the second digit, or the second place, should be T. So if it's something else, like, like G for global or S for enthalpy, you're going to want to change that to T and press save. So let's look at, in the manual, here you have your configuration ID nomenclature, and you can see that the economizer is position number two, and a lot of times they'll be set to to enthalpy, I think uh, probably come from the factory that way, but you want to set it to T for temperature. You may also have global, that's another common one. So that's where that's found, page 8 of the manual. Now if you want to test the function of your economizer damper, you can go to main menu and go to service, test, damper, damper position and then you can begin to adjust it here you can run it all the way up and it gives you damper feedback as well so I'm gonna run this all the way up to hundred percent and the feedback <clears throat> it, uh, it appears that it's working because we're getting a good feedback <clears throat> but I'm gonna go ahead and verify that it's moving <clears throat> So another thing to look for, actually, near that clicking, these white motors are notorious for going bad at 50%. So you can see that thing is stuck right at 50%, and it's not going to go any farther. So this actuator needs to be replaced. And that's why we test them. Alright, so I'm going to back out of this menu, and the, I think even just pushing back, you see there it got to 57% and it's it's died. So just backing out of the menu is enough. And the um, economizer actuator should go back where it's supposed to. Close on its own.